Go. Look at Ralph. All right, guys, how's it going? My name is Ray Ortiz from BootCampAnywhere.com. I am here with the Helping You Move team. And we've been talking, Ralph and I, and we're talking about how crazy it is during COVID because all the gyms are closed and people are struggling to get their exercise in. But now that the weather is getting nicer, it's a great idea to get outside. Um, so I'm gonna show you guys a quick workout that you can do using zero equipment from the comfort of your own home or outside in your backyard. Uh, it'll take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes at the absolute most and it'll be enough to kind of get you moving towards your results, uh, whatever your fitness goals may be. But for the most part, it's just to kind of start finding consistency with the active and uh, fit lifestyle, all right? So I got Ralph, I got Tiffany here, I got Melissa and Peter. I know it's early for some of you guys, but I appreciate you guys being here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with a warm up, and then I'm gonna take you through an eight exercise circuit, all right? So when you guys are ready, let's stand you guys up. All right, so just follow along. We're gonna start off with basic jumping jacks, all right? Uh, we're started. Here we go, guys. We're going in three seconds. Three, two, one. Work count. All right, let's go, guys. Let's go. I know it's early. But it's a beautiful day outside. All I need you guys to do is start warping yourselves up, loosen up those joints, get the blood flowing, get the heart pumping. There you go. <laughs> Guys, we should all be in sync. Come Three, on. Like, two, like one. One, rest. Right, Seven, set, set go, work out. Good. Try and put all the way down on your heels. Keep your butt all the way down. Squeeze your glutes together on the way up. Feel the hips loosen up. There you go. That's it, guys. You cannot be tired. All Three, day. two, one. Day. One, right, rest, next, to six, set to go. In and out, loosen up your shoulders, open up the chest. That's it. Good, 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 good. Keep going, guys, keep going. Three, two, one. One, rest, okay, go five, set to okay, go, so work to out. Big step forward, drop the knee down. Just loosen up the hips. If you have any type of knee problems, just kind of go down or drop that back knee at whatever your comfort zone is, okay? That's it, good. There you go. Three, nice, two, one. One, okay, let's get rest, you on the floor. We're going to do push ups. Go. Work out. You can either do a regular push up, or if that's too difficult, you can go into a kneeling push up. Okay, remember, this is just a warm up. So I need you guys to just start loosening everything up. Good, 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 good. Three, two, one. One, right, rest. Good. Three, here, set to go. We're gonna lift your butt up in the air. We're gonna do a downward facing dog and then drop your hips down to an upward facing dog and just repeat on whatever pace you're comfortable with. Guys, come on. Come Three, on. two, one. One, rest. Alright, last two, one. We're going to turn you over. Keep your feet down, your hands down, and drive your hips up. We're just going to loosen up the front shoulders here. There you go. Good job, guys. Good job. Come on. Three, two, one. Right. Rest. Now one, that we're nice and warm. Work out. Timer we're going to work on a circuit. Okay, so we're going to keep things pretty basic today. So I want you guys to start off, we're going to start off with some major muscle groups. Okay, so we're going to do similar exercises that we did for our warm up, but we're going to do kind of 
more dynamic versions of them, okay? So it's gonna be eight exercises total. So the first one is gonna be uh, push-ups again, um, but I want you guys to try and pick up the pace and I'll show you one variation of the push-up that you can do if you wanna challenge yourself, okay? So. Regular push-ups, you guys don't do. Easy version is to drop your knees down, but the more advanced version, you can pull it off to the Spider-Man push-up. Come all the way down, and bring a knee into the same side part. Okay, you can also do this one in a kneeling version. All right, so just take your time with that. You guys have some options. Then, we're gonna stand you up, and then we're going to do body weight squats, but you're gonna pulse at the bottom three times. Okay, so you're gonna go one, Three, stand up. Okay? If you think you can pull up a harder version, you can go one, two, three, and then jump on four. One, two, three, jump on four. Cool? Then, because we don't have any equipment, we're gonna try and find a way to uh, work out your lower back, sorry, your upper back. So we're gonna put you in a plank position. This one's kinda hard to see through a, a camera, but essentially, you're gonna be on your elbows, and then you're gonna try and squeeze your shoulder blades together, dropping your chest, okay? So what that will look like here, is your plank, drop the elbows, squeeze your shoulder blades, and then come back up, cool? Then we're gonna step you back up again, and we're gonna do uh, split squats. We're gonna go all the way down, all the way up, and then when I tell you to, we're gonna hold up the, oh, sorry, switch legs. Cool? So we're gonna actually start off with those four exercises and go two rounds and then I'm gonna take you guys to another another set. You guys ready? Alright, so first one is Spider-Man push-ups. Let's go. How long are the sessions? Here we go. How long are the cycles right? It's about 30 there. seconds for exercise. 30 seconds for exercise. Timer started. Prepare. Alright, let's go guys. So regular Three, push up two, or Spider-Man. Workout. All right, go ahead, start. Take your time, guys. Remember, if you have to, you can do a kneeling version of this. Okay, guys, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Three, two, one. Next. All right, everybody up. So remember, you're gonna pulse three times at the bottom, then give me a jump. Okay, so you need pulse, two, three. Three, two, jump. one. Fifteen sets to go. Right, one count. Pulse. And power. Good. If you can't jump, you can just give me a regular squat, or you can try and squat and tip you toward the top. That's it guys, come on, get up there. Three, two, one, that? rest. Good, so now you guys are gonna go front plank position on your elbows, drop your chest, squeeze the shoulder blades. Three, up two, and down. one, 14, set to go, workout. Nice and tight. There you go. Ooh. Three, two, one. All right, let's stand you guys up. Everyone step back with your right leg. Okay? Find your head, squeeze shoulder Three, two, all the one. way down, 13. all the way up. Set to go, work count. Good. I'm gonna have this on a timer. I'll tell you guys when to switch legs. That's it. Come on guys, all the way down. Get ready and switch. Switch legs. Good, looking great. How you feeling? You guys are looking good, making it look easy. Three, two, 
Rush. All right, that is the first round. Let's go one more. So Spider-Man push-ups or regular push-ups, okay? Three, set. two, one. Go. Twelve, set to go. Workout. There, guys, almost there. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, good. You guys with me? All right, we're standing. Three squat pulses, then you jump. Okay? So remember, deep. Three, one, two, two, one. Three, jump. Eleven, set to go. All right, let's go, guys. Come on, helping you move, team. Let's go. Stay with me, guys. It's only been two minutes of work, guys. Two and a half, actually. But just to kind of show you what kind of workout you can get from home with zero equipment, this is a really simple circuit that anyone can do. Come on, go. Three, two, yes. one, rest. All right, you're back on the floor. Front plank on your elbows. Take your time. Squeeze the shoulder blades as you drop your Three, body two, down. Three, two, one, go. Ten, set to go, workout. Three, two, one, rest. All right, everyone up. Okay, step back with your right leg. Okay, drop that back knee all the way down. Three, two, Ready? one, and one, go. set to go. Work out. Shoulder blades if you can. That's my daughter, if you heard her. Sorry about that, guys. Good. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Almost there. Switch. Switch legs. Switch legs. Switch legs. That's it. Come on, guys. Come on. Three, two, one. Rest. All right. Good. Catch your breath, guys. That was the first circuit. How are you guys feeling? You guys okay? Still with me? Give me a quick thumbs up. Good. All right, so with that particular circuit, it's really good because you hit all of your major muscle groups all in one shot, okay? So we did two rounds today, but typically you would, you would want to try and repeat it again for another two rounds, all right? So now, as we're kind of catching our breath, we're going to finish up with a core finisher. So same concept, four exercises, but we're, we're going to really work on targeting our abs and our lower back, all right? So I want you guys to lie flat on your back. First exercise we're gonna do is called a dead bug. Okay, so while on all fours, you guys will keep the legs bent. You're gonna extend one leg and the opposite arm. Okay, and use your abs to come back in. Okay, so opposite arm and leg, and then squeeze. Okay, so the goal with this one is to keep your lower back as flat to the floor as possible. Okay. Then we'll turn it over into a mountain climber. So all you want to do is step in, squeeze your abs, step out. Step in, squeeze your abs, step out. Next, we'll turn to the side. You're either going to do a side plank, okay? If you can't do it with your leg straight, you can do a kneeling side plank. And then we're going to rotate in and out. And then I'll tell you guys when to switch sides, okay? And then the last one, is gonna be a cross body mountain climber. So similar to what we did uh, with the in and outs, but this time you're gonna twist and knee goes to opposite arm and step back, all right? So four exercises, we're going two rounds again. So we're gonna start off with our dead bugs. Cool, so let's lie flat on your back. You're gonna extend your left leg and your right arm. And then you're gonna to switch to the Timer other side. Timer started, Get prepare. Set. 
Remember, keep your lower back flat to the ground. Abs tight the whole time. Three, two, one. Workout. Good. So, left leg, right arm. Squeeze. Go nice and slow in your extension. The slower, the better. You want to imagine sucking your belly button down to the floor, keeping your abs nice and tight. Good. If you feel your lower back leave the ground, you got to squeeze those abs a little bit tighter. Almost there, guys. Almost there. Three, two, one. Rest. Good. All right, let's turn it over into push-up position again. You're gonna step in with each foot. As the knee comes into your chest, squeeze the stomach. Three, okay. two, step in, one. Step 15 out. sets to go. Workout. Take your time. Take your time. Good. Knee comes in, squeeze those abs. Knee comes in, squeeze those abs. Almost there. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, good. Side plank. So remember, knees down is easy, leg straight is hard. And then you just lift your butt off the ground. Three, okay, two, set. one. 14. Go. So you can either hold workout. or you can twist in and out. I'll tell you guys when to switch arms. It's coming up soon. We're going to go in about five seconds. Four, three, Two and quick switch. Go. Take your time. Rotate all the way in, chest facing the floor. Nice. That's Three, it. Three, two, one. Rest. All right, back to a cross body mountain climber. So, first step take your right knee, tuck it into your left arm. So, you're going to go in and across. One. In, 13 across, sets to go. Work out. Switch sides. Close those abs, guys. Almost there. Come on, come Three, on. two, Good. one. All right, that's one down. We're just gonna go one more time. Stay with me, guys. Literally two more minutes of work. So lie flat on your back. Get Three, bugs. two, one. Twelve. Okay. Set to our go. Leg. Workout. Squeeze the abs. Come back in. Suck that belly button to the floor. Come on, everyone. You're doing great helping you move, team. Great, we're, we're real estate agents. <laughs> you guys are doing great. Three, Take your time, nice and slow. Don't worry about the speed. I just want you to keep moving, all right? So let's go nice and slow. We got a minute and a half, guys. Minute Come on, minute and a half. Three, so you're two, gonna step in, one, step out. 11, Good. Seven, if you have to, four, when you step in, you can drop your foot to the floor. It's a little bit easier than keeping it off the ground, okay? Either which way. Make sure that your abs are nice and tight. Come on. Take your time, guys. Three, two, one. Okay, let's change it up a little bit because I know you guys are getting a little tired. So just have a seat facing me. Okay, keep your feet down, chest up. We can adjust things on Three, the fly, no two, problem. Just lean one. back. And then we're going to go Russian Set twist. Go. More count. Russian twist. So just make sure to give me good posture. Okay? And use your trunk to rotate. Okay? Don't just move your hands. Keep your core tight. There you go. The harder the harder it is, uh, the harder version, sorry, so lean back if you have, if you can. And then just to come up a little bit closer if you have to. Okay? So there's a lot of ways we can modify here, guys. Good. Almost there. Almost there. Three, Almost there. Two, one. Okay, last one. 
a little bit easier. Stay in that same position, hands back, legs straight. Then you're gonna tuck your knees into Three, your chest. Two, okay. One, so in, one, squeeze, to go. kick one out. Count. Okay. If you can keep your feet off the ground the whole time, that's harder. If you have to drop, that's not a problem either. Whichever version you choose, your abs tight. Come on, go, 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 go. A few more seconds, guys. A few more seconds. Tight squeeze. Tight squeeze. How was that? One more. No, one more. <laughs> Come on, guys. Three, two, one. And rest. Good job. Woo. Are you feeling? Stop. How are you feeling? Pretty good. So that was about 10 minutes. 10 minutes of work. It doesn't take much, guys. It doesn't take much. <laughs> Imagine if you guys had a little bit of weights on you, how much more effective the workout would have been. But bottom line, without digging too much into the science of it, uh, the best bang for your buck to burn a lot of calories is to do a full body circuit. So essentially, the more muscle groups you use in one movement, the more calories you're going to burn. Okay. In terms of uh, the effectiveness of it, you guys, I'm sure you agree, your heart rate's up, you're breathing a little bit heavy, you know, muscles are burning in different parts of the body, okay, so there's so many different ways you can add uh, tension to it, you can use resistance bands, you can use dumbbells, kettlebells, uh, but to be honest, you guys have everything you need with just your body weight, so it's just a matter of doing things the right way, uh, starting with the big muscle groups, working your way down to the small ones, you'll notice we left the core uh, exercises towards the end of the workout. Uh, just because I wanted to save the beginning of the workout for the bigger exercises. Uh, but you guys did great. You guys did great. My watch just sent me a notification asking if everything is okay. My <laughs> watch says, do I need help? Uh, Siri's looking out for you, man. That's good. That's Saying, good. Do you have a heart attack? <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys did great. You guys did great. But yeah, the best part about it is all in the comfort of your own home. So I appreciate you guys from helping you move team. Uh, I'm sure that there's a lot of different ways you can inspire some of your clients uh, to kind of take their homes and use it as their own personal gym as well. If they needed any help, all they have to do is go to bootcampanywhere.com. I have some free downloads there with a free four-week bodyweight program, or you can go to my Instagram page. There's some follow-along workouts there. My Instagram handle is at Ray Ortiz. Uh, but if there's anything you needed, all you have to do is DM me, and I will take good care of you guys. Awesome. One, one thing I'll say is, What's neat about this workout, and I mean, Ray, you and I have been working together for a little while, obviously not, not recently, as you can tell by my performance. But what's really cool about today's workout is the fact that it didn't require anything. Like, I didn't even require gym clothes. I could have been in just a barefoot, you know, in my pajamas. And really what that does is if you're using that as an excuse for not working out, if you're using quarantine as an excuse to let yourself go, the way back is way harder, right? Yep. And yeah. you've proved to us today that you could do this with just some great coaching through you and, uh, and just an open space at home. So thank you very much. Yeah, like, uh, and uh, I think that's the biggest lesson learned from all this quarantine and COVID lockdown is that uh, a lot of businesses or gyms, like my gym, were not able to open. And even when we do open, it's not like we're going to be able to allow so many people in at one time. So it's to your advantage to learn how to do some sort of physical activity from home. Now that the weather's getting nice, there's no excuse for you guys to even just go outside for a walk or a jog. Um, but you don't need a lot of time. That was only 10 minutes. Yeah. Great. Okay. Thanks, Ray. Ooh. That was great. Thanks. Peter, not even breaking a sweat over there. Told you. Tip top <laughs> shape, buddy. Awesome, guys. So thanks for checking out this video. For more information on uh, Ray and his boot camps, check out the links in the description of this uh, video if you're watching it via YouTube. And, uh, you know, for more information on what's going on in the real estate market, I mean, you can always just message us. We want you to like, subscribe to this channel, and turn on post notifications, just so you stay up to date with what we're doing here, the Helping You Move team at Remax. Uh, as your local agents, we want to bring you value in every single video. Sometimes it's real estate based. Sometimes it's health and fitness, right? We just want to keep, uh, keep you moving. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Sweet.